Let's face it, today's school environment is not what it used to be. Even in Africa, we're slowly pushing away the pen and paper from the desks and replacing that with computers and laptops. In some parts of the world, students are learning how to fly drones and build computers from scratch. Welcome to Beyond Computers. This is the show that equips you with digital skills, familiarizes you with digital tools, and helps you realize your full potential in your studies, your career, and business. On today's episode, we are looking at some of the digital technologies that are taking over the classrooms now and in future. And number one on that list is virtual reality. The first form of virtual reality involves the traditional computer or desktop through which students can be able to explore virtual experience by using a mouse or other device such as a joystick. The new form of virtual reality involves wearing a head-mounted display unit through which students can explore things as if they're exploring them in real life. <laughs> Using virtual reality, students can explore a historic building in ancient Greece. They will be able to walk around a Greek city and even use the glove to touch the various elements. Virtual reality brings to life what students are learning in a way that books and other media could never accomplish. Number two, 3D printing. 3D printing allows students to explore objects during learning. There are many objects that students are not allowed to use or touch during a learning experience because of their sensitivity, such as fossils and other artifacts. 3D printing can allow prototypes of these learning objects to be printed so as to give students a more hands-on learning experience as opposed to just looking at the objects through a glass or in a book. 3D printing technology is however not cheap and not many institutions have managed to employ it in the learning institutions. Number three, the cloud. Remember how you used to carry heavy books when going to school? Well, this could become a thing of the past thanks to the cloud. Learning material can be stored and accessed from the cloud and students can also do homework from there. The cloud can also give teachers direct access to data on students' study habits. By doing all their homework online, students provide engagement data on how long they spend on their assignments and whether or not they are taking notes. Major publishers can use this data to analyze the effectiveness of the material that is being given to students for learning. In addition, they will be able to then come up with content that is more relevant in today's world. Number four, biometrics. Biometrics is perhaps the most important digital technology that institutions can take advantage of. Fingerprint scanning helps make borrowing books and keeping track of students' borrowing and study habits in libraries much easier. It provides information that can help determine if there is a shortage of some books and if students are returning books on time and other important data needed in the library. With biometrics, it's easy to enhance security and keep track of external visitors in the learning institutions. You know what time students go to school, their movement around the campus, and when they leave. It's even used in some schools for getting meals at the cafeteria as opposed to using the conventional meal card. Number five, holograms. Holograms are like the old school projectors but in 3D. Holograms in institutions is however still but a dream because the technology is extremely expensive and still highly experimental. In future, hologram technology will allow teachers to give lessons to students across the world. How cool is that? Those are the five digital technologies expected in our classrooms now and in the future. We hope today's episode has been exciting for you. Give us your feedback, let us know what you like on the show, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. Interact with us on our social media platforms on your screen. Check out our interactive blog, discover.jkuart.ac.ke. Thank you for watching Beyond Computers. Until we meet next time, la prochaine, au revoir.